What's up? It's your boy Dion again. It's your guy right here once again with Cotton Talk Part 2, okay? Wow, I'm recording this on Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth to everybody. I hope everybody is doing okay. It's Juneteenth 2020. Wishing y'all nothing but love out there. It's a lot going on right there, right now in the world. We got like a lot of prayers that need to be happening right now. Coronavirus, police brutality, you know, family. I mean, let's let's just stay prayed up. And you know, I just felt like obligated to come on today. And it's Pride Month, so happy Pride Month also to everybody that is proud to be who they are proud to be. I got my Colin Kaepernick shirt on, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling good, you know what I'm saying? That's the guy. That's the guy. Took a knee, was not ashamed, had the courage, set it off. And that's the way you do it, you know what I'm saying? Like, just be yourself. I paint my nails. I'm just being myself, you know what I'm saying? That's who I am. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. Now... <laughs> I decided to come on today and just tell a really cool story because we also got like Father's Day coming up on Sunday. Today's Friday, Juneteenth, and we got Father's Day coming up on Sunday. And I thought about my father and I love my father. He's amazing. Maybe I'll put a picture of him on this. He's incredible. He is the very fabric and reason as to why. I um, am even interested in cotton. He came home one day. I got to just, maybe I just want to tell this story. You know what I'm saying? Um, he came home. Wait, before I share the story, I just wanted to say very fun fact, very fun fact, very fun fact, something to just drop in your knowledge. Money is made of 75% cotton. 25% linen. So you chasing that paper? You're not chasing that paper. You chasing that cotton just to rectify, just to get the language right. You're not chasing that paper. You're chasing that cotton. So what are we really doing? Just think about that. How removed are we from the cotton? How removed are we from the cotton? Really? Like really think about that. Really think about that. I'm just jumping to my story real quick. Um, how attached are we to cotton, even if we're not picking it? Like, like this, this is real. Just know that. Um, my father came home one day. Um, I was five years old. And he came home. I think he took like a little trip. I think it was like a family funeral or something in South Carolina. That's where our people from. So King Street, South Carolina. He came home. <laughs> He got out of his truck and he planted a cotton plant in front of the house. And he said, know your history. After he planted the cotton, he just told me and my siblings, he said, know your history. And I remember seeing him plant this cotton plant in front of the house. And I was like, wow, what does that mean at five years old? Like, did he know what he was instilling in us? At that point, when that happened, I immediately... Five years old, I didn't know too much, but I was like, the shame of cotton did not really register in my brain. I wasn't ashamed of it really growing up because I remember him coming home with a plant from South Carolina and saying, know your history. So he planted a cotton plant in front of the house. <laughs> the cotton plant grew, okay? It grew and it grew cotton. I remember seeing the cotton. I remember seeing the balls come out and burst open, but I don't remember too much from that. I just remember seeing that the cotton grew. Okay. That was deep. That was real deep. Okay. Like that was, that was deep. I didn't, I didn't know nothing. All I knew was that he told me to know my history and the cotton grew and then it just kind of went away. And then I started doing another little garden section on the other side, but that's all I can really say about that. But Father's Day is coming up on the Sunday, and my father's dope. He's amazing. He's incredible. He's hilarious. He's a comedian. I want to wish y'all all the happy Father's Days out there as well. It's just a lot going on in June. There's a lot going on 
I mean, so much to celebrate and, you know, stay safe and all that. But I wanted to wish my father's a happy Father's Day and all y'all as well. But that fact is deep. That's what got me into cotton and started asking these cotton questions. Um, you can follow DGP Cotton Talk on Instagram. We are talking about the cotton on Instagram. I'm talking about the cotton. I'm asking all kinds of questions. Um, when did shame begin for cotton? Does freedom mean forget cotton? Like, I'm like, I'm asking a lot of stuff and really wanting us to tap in. Um, this is all the cotton here that I've made or picked from my backyard here in Florida. Okay, yeah, I got my moringa over there. It's healthy. Um, this is taking about three months of cotton balls. Three months. And I'm gonna make something out of this cotton. I'm not gonna share what it is yet, but I'm gonna make something. I'm gonna make something. I'll keep you posted. So, yeah, I just wanted to come on real quick and wish nothing but love and all that stuff. Um, stay healthy, stay clean, stay peaceful. There's something coming. I'm brewing something here, educational. I'm learning as I go. I'm moving as I go. That's what's happening. You know what I'm saying? I don't know much about it. I'm just like, y'all, if you do know something about it, please share, like, talk, build the conversation because there's a lot of healing that really, um, really is manifesting when we talk about the cotton because a lot of us, know about it know of the crop but we've never experienced it and i've got seeds like please i love to send seeds i want to send seeds mail them to you you experience cotton cotton is free of charge please just let me know and you can also donate you know what i'm saying whatever you want to do um i just want to build this conversation of healing around cotton and who we were before we were picking cotton in america and so on and so forth. So just, just bear with me. Let it grow. Let it marinate. Don't 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 think about it too much. Just just let it marinate. This is the cotton. <laughs> okay, it's a lot. This is a lot, but it's not nearly as much as our ancestors picked. Not nearly. This is like, I'd say like a pound and a half. Not nearly close compared to we're talking about. 300 pounds a day, we talking about some serious work. So um, bear with it, all right? Stick in there, keep smiling, stay safe, stay love. Rainbow God loves you, whoever you worship spiritually, just stay aligned, keep smiling. And remember, you're not chasing the paper, you're chasing the cotton. Just remember that. Just remember that. Just remember that. That's a fact. Okay. I'll let me. Bye. I love you, golden people. I will always love you. You are golden. You are more than the opposite of white. You are beautiful. You glow. Gorgeous. Gifted. Amen, I shall. I just want to play with you. Maybe I can play.